welcome all to my youtube channel pat ranking battery and today we are going to install uh, to look on how to install CorelDRAW version x8 uh make sure you subscribe so that you can get superb uploads from pat ranking battery youtube channel hit the notification button to get uh, to be updated on every uh, when i upload a new video welcome all i hope you'll enjoy so we will start First of all, make sure you have uh, the software. For now, I have the software, which is uh, both uh, 86, I have both 32 bit and 64. I'm installing 64 bit. You right click, run as administrator. From there, the setup installation will start. Tick on I agree, accept. Uh, you have to put the serial number uh, in, uh, on my software. Uh, I have also also have the crack, so I just go to, uh, to crack, then right click, run as administrator, then select the version you are, you are using, x8, then it will generate the serial number. After that, copy, control C, paste, control uh, V, then click on typical installation. After clicking on typical installation, uh, what you have to do is just uh, give it time uh, sometimes uh, so that it can install. So the installation will just proceed. Uh, it takes some time.
so our installation is complete uh, next step you just uh, it will just pop, uh, bring pop-up uh, dialog box you have to click skip then after clicking skip you click finish but before you open you have to rename some files so uh, what you have to do is just uh, double click this pc icon or on the windows icon search this pc and click so this pc icon is on the left corner this one this pc and if you don't see it just click windows icon and search after that double click uh, local disk c then go to program files double click then double click search corel and double click then go to we start with uh, go to the version we are using corel graphics suite x8 we double click after that we have to rename some files I just go to uh, setup the file called uh, with the name rmpcun uh, this one you have to name this file and give it an, a name you just type you just give it name rename this one just right click that file you have to rename it before opening Corel Draw all of the software click rename and type just name uh, rename Yeah, like that. To that, press enter on the keyboard. Go back. You have also to rename uh, file uh, file called. You have to, uh, you also have to go to folder called font manager. Double click, then uh, rename the same file with the same name rmpcunlr dot dll. Right click rename and also give it name rename like this also we have to uh, go to folder called draw double click and then rename uh, the file with the same name we are naming rmpcunlr dot dll rename give it name rename also press enter on the keyboard go back to the uh, folders then after that we have connect 64 but this connect uh, 64 you have to rename it last so when I escape, you just go to folder called capture, double click the folder called capture. Then after that, we rename the file. And give it name, rename two, like this. Enter. After that, we have also to go to folder called photo paint photo paint double click then in, uh, in this case different a uh, little different you have to rename file that file hmpcunlr.dll and give it name rename like this okay after that go back and then lastly we rename folder called connect 64 and we rename that file with uh, name with code rmpcunlr.dll and give it name a rename okay from there you are good to go the your, your software is well uh, activated is cracked in a, and not only cracked but lifetime license it will never disturb you 
So let us open and confirm if it's working correctly. And the version is Corel Draw X8. Wow, this is great. The software has finally opened. So for now, you can skip the tour. You can just skip, uh, skip to get started, then maximize the page. So uh, the the program has installed successfully. And then you can just write a uh, new document, and uh, it have uh, different sizes. You, uh, you can just write later then okay after that the page is opened at uh, as how it is supposed to be the features are, are, are active Apart from that, we can look the uh, about license. Okay, as you can see, the serial number is here, the source ID is here. So the software is activated, uh, not only activated, but it has also the license and it's a lifetime license. They never expire. Maybe laptop uh, until the your laptop or computer crashes. Thank you very much and also don't forget to subscribe to Patron Kibadri YouTube channel.